Reading from Revelation 2, verse 18, And unto the angel of the church of Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Let's pause there a minute. Space to repent, and she didn't repent, so what happens? Time's up. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works." Works. Interesting. There's people that say there's no works. It's all a free gift. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyra, Tyra, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already. Hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works, my works, unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Every man's work shall be tried as by fire. If it's hay, it'll burn up. If it's stubble, it'll burn up and blow away. But if it's silver and brass or gold, it shall remain and it shall be rewarded according to the just judgments of God, Almighty God. These are the works of God, Jesus said, that I do. And we know that when Philip said to Jesus, asked him, show us the Father, Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. May God bless you this little word of truth from the Bible. And that you be not ashamed at the coming of the Lord. That you be clothed in righteousness. Not self-righteousness, but the righteousness of Christ. Which is through the blood and by the spirit and will of the Father. Many say, many will say, Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not spoken in tongues? Or have I not visited the sick? And he will say to them, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Sinners in Zion, sinners in the kingdom will not last. They will be cast out. They will be outside when they and they shall see the prophets and the saints inside the kingdom, and they themselves are cast out, and there shall be weeping and wailing of gnashing of teeth, because there will be no space for repentance. That's sobering. Very sobering. So today is the day to repent. Tomorrow may be too late, brothers and sisters. It may be too late now.